Alejandro Tabillo versus Jinjin Jong is the first quarter final for the men's Rome Master for 2023. And both guys were not expected to get this far. Zhang entered the tournament unseeded and would take on Gallon in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 2 7 5. In the second round, he'd take on 19 seed Manorino. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 3. In the third round, he'd take on the number 12 seed Shelton. And again, no problem for Zhang getting through in straights. 6 2 6 4. In the fourth round, he'd take on the qualifier Montero, who'd been really good the last couple of weeks on the clay. And over a close first set, Zhang would get through in straights, 7-6-6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. Tabillo entered the tournament as the number 29 seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Hafman. There's no problem getting through in straights, 6-3-7-6. In the third round, he'd take on the world number one, Novak Djokovic, a man that he'd never faced before. And this was super impressive, with Tabillo destroying Djokovic, 6-2-6-3, to get his best career victory. In the fourth round, he'd take on Hashinov, the 16th seed, who's been a proven clay court guy over the last few seasons. And after a close couple of sets, Tabillo would get through in straights. 7-6-7-6 seven, six, seven, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have actually never played before, which is so strange because they're both sort of mid-20s, mid to late 20s. Never faced off before, and the first time is going to be in a huge matchup in a quarterfinal of a Masters with a chance to make a semi, which would be their best result of their careers. If Zhang's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive and get on the front foot. Try and get Tabillo off guard, especially winning that first set, because Tabillo will be the favorite. Of course, beating Hashinov, beating Djokovic, he will be the favorite. So maybe he can get on the nerves if Zhang can get that first set and really maybe get Tabillo doubting himself as well if he does lose his first set for the week against somebody he shouldn't. But Tabillo's going to win this one. He needs to keep going with that momentum. He's beaten Djokovic. He's beaten Hashinov. He should be able to beat Zhang. Use that confidence of beating those two guys against a guy who has never been in this stage. That's the benefit of this. They've both never been here. So whoever gets on that front foot will probably get the win. Really fun matchup. They've never played each other. They've both got a massive chance to make a semi-final of Rome. But I've got to go with Tabillo in this one. I just think Tabillo this week with that Djokovic win especially he is on a roll, and Jong's been good, but I just think to Billow, it's his time to get to the semis, but let me know in the comments below, who's making the semis?